beautiful soul family, star seeds, light workers, friends. Welcome. This is my channel, Patrizia1111. I have been taking some time off because uh, I wasn't feeling well. And uh, so I am coming back, but not full, uh, meaning that uh, I'm going to pace myself uh, slowly and coming back and doing the readings. Uh, so uh, again, I want to thank everybody here uh, you know, for all the beautiful subscribers and uh, out there that reached out to me and um, for all the beautiful comments and, uh, and support at this time. So I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. My mom is still praying for all of you here uh, three times a day and also for the collective. So if there's any comments you want to leave my mom, you could go right ahead. And uh, so we're going to get started with the meaning meditation. <clears throat> okay, so um, of course I'm going to invoke, uh, you know, my higher self, uh, um, you know, the, the, our beloved universe, Holy Spirit, Mother Gaia to be here to sustain and support and my angels, my fairies, my archangels, and last but not least, my ancestors to protect the readings. So um, first I'm going to take the spray and uh, clear your energy and space. And I'll do that for me too. So all you need to do is take a deep breath in and relax. where it's out of alignment at this time though I try to clear it I don't know some of you if you're feeling that if you are just give it a moment put this aside it's the best I can do at this time I think that my um, I'm waiting for like a, a pillow I ordered a huge pillow for it so I'm waiting for this pillow to come in so that I could use it uh, pro more properly but it, the job what it had to do is done on it okay so uh, yes yeah, so I will be coming uh, pace uh, I'm pacing myself this time I'm not gonna come in in the weeklies right away I will put out videos as much as I can um, if you see that there's some you know cards I'm not using right now just rest assured I will come to using them again eventually but right now I'm pacing myself very slowly to come back to give you some readings okay so let's get started with your readings I'll be right back hi Capricorn and welcome to your mid-month reading uh, like I said I'm coming back slowly uh, before I start the weekly's full power I'm still recovering uh, I'm not 100% there, but I decided to, uh, you know, come in and give you a mid-month reading. Um, now, uh, I hope that you're doing well, and I do want to wish all the Capricorns out there, um, a, a, you know, a belated happy birthday for those of you that did miss your birthdays, and for those of you that your birthdays are coming up, happy birthday. I wish you all the best. Please mark down the date that you're born and see if you have any twins in the chat that are the same birthday as you, okay? So I wish you all the best, my beautiful Capricorns. And so now let's get started with the reading. This reading is from Capricorn Sun. And anywhere that you have Capricorn in your chart, this is your reading. Anytime you see this will be the right time. If the reading resonates, claim it with all your heart. But if it doesn't, then look at your rising, look at your moon, Venus, and uh, also your north node. In this reading, I will show you your past. I will show you your current energy. I will show you uh, the immediate future, what is in from you, and the possible outcomes. And then I will clarify the cards in which Spirit wants me to clarify. And after that, uh, I will give you a inner child card to top it off, where I will, I will read to you uh, what the meaning is, okay? So, my beautiful Capis. Normally, I do use the Celtic cross, which I do. 
uh, but I don't show it in the way, but it, it's there. And then I also do, um, I also go out of the box with uh, Spirit, what he wants to show. So let's get started with your reading. Now, the reading, okay, is about you, Capricorn, but feel free to swap the energies around if you feel it's about someone else. Now, I do all types of readings. They're not just about love. It's about everything. So you'll see what if it fits for you, okay? Um, I, I feel like the, for some of you, this has to do with the interferences of the past, like situations of interferences in the past that you had to go through, whether it was people or situations that were interfering for you and uh, a lot of you had let go of the, or letting go of the past or relationships or emotions of uh, connections that did not take place where there was a lot of unhappiness here, okay? In the overall, you got the King of Cups reverse. So someone here that at this time is not emotionally available. They're not able maybe to express themselves. They need to work on themselves, but there's definitely here someone here that is not able to be present okay in the recent past year there was a relationship there could have been a relationship that did not work out for some of you okay um and i feel that someone maybe in the past there was some type of cutoff you know like uh, taking a break or uh, someone ghosting you or someone here that did not uh, participate in um communicating and so what's happening is that there is going to be some sort of communication coming in of course mercury is in retrograde venus is in retrograde uh, at, the, at this time so of course there could be someone from the past coming back okay it's gonna be fast pa pa paced messages coming in okay and definitely there is a message there is that messages and the offer that's coming in okay with the page of pentacles there is an offer on, on the table here there could be some sort of forgiveness some sort of apology for some others of you okay a sort of, uh, and this could be an offer coming in on the table some type of offer it's just it's at the beginning stages with the page of pentacles in the current energy, you have the Hermit reversed. So someone here is definitely coming out of the dark night of the soul. Okay, definitely someone here that took time out. And this was about 18, 19 months ago. So I would say about, this was for some, some of you, this was from September, August, September of 2020. And yeah, something like that is what I'm hearing. But there's definitely someone here that's coming out of the dark night of the soul, or taking, uh, coming out of a time where they, they uh, isolated themselves, uh, uh, where they were following their own path, they were, they were reevaluating everything, and definitely someone's coming out of this right now. Uh, also, we have also here in the current energy, you've got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely, there is going to be more clarity, communication. It's like the fog is being released, and so you could see clearer, clearer okay, and a lot of communication, um, a lot of insights that are coming in. And then with the Ace of Pentacles, there's some type of money or some type of, like I said, gift that's coming in. Right now, you have two uh, two Aces on the ground. In where you are, it's the Hangman reversed. Okay. You are, you have to surrender to something that was stagnant. Mm -hmm. And this talks about a spiritual awakening. So from going to the dark night of the soul, someone is also sp awakening spiritually in who they are. Okay. And seeing the clarity, there's going to be like the divine is coming in to give you that clarity. That's beautiful. In the hopes and fears, you got the magician. So this is about gathering uh, all your intentions, okay, and having that gift of, of um, it's about manifesting your dreams, desires, because you have your everything it takes for you to do this, okay? So a lot of you have been vibrating higher, in a sense, you know, putting your frequency higher, working on yourselves, okay, and trying to manifest some type of gift here or some type of money or clarity. 
in the what is hidden from you is where it is shown me is that the sun in the past year with the ten of cups reverse there was a lot of unhappy times okay not feeling abundant not feeling happy in your emotions and what they're showing up is with the queen of cups upright so there is someone here that's coming in to uh from after long or after a storm <laughs> let's put it this way coming in to give love okay with with the queen of cups energy someone here that is able to express themselves someone that's emotionally available and the uh possible outcome is the ace of wands so you've got three aces one 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 is here for you okay so this talks about where it's about uh, a lot of you this is about uh fire in your belly like you know having those um butterflies in your stomach type of thing it's about passion starting within you and it's you're seeing it all around you as well okay so now let's clarify the cards for you capricorn let's see what's happening here and three okay let's look at the overall energy you got the king of cups reversed okay let's see what the storyline is the eight of cups the nine of swords reversed the tower yeah definitely something in the past that took place here okay there was an unexpected change uh someone dropped their armor like it's as if like okay it's done it's like when the tower came in like I said, unexpected change. The divine came in to clear the energy. And I, dis, I do see someone here that had to walk away. Or someone that walked away from a situation. And uh, that left this King of Cups reversed. Okay, which is uh, someone that's not emotionally available. Now let's look at the Ten of Cups reversed. What is this Ten of Cups reversed about? 20 cards here. Let me see. One. Okay, well. King of Cups upright. The Eight of Swords reversed. The Two of Wands and the Eight of, Eight of Wands. So what's, what Spirit is showing me here is definitely there was some type of relationship or connection that did not work out here. Um, and like I said, someone here walked away. There was uh, someone that had walked away okay, in a situation. Uh, someone that uh, maybe at one point they were feeling stuck, but they're not stuck anymore. And with the two of swords, uh, two of wands reverse, someone here was determined to let go of something of the past here, and that was succeeded. It, that's what took place. And what's showing up around? Look at this. You got the king and queen of cups. Two people coming back together. This could be you alone in energy, okay? Or this could be someone else here. Two people that are emotionally available. Two people that do care about each other. And there is messages that are going to be coming in. And they could be starting coming in from January 16th, okay, as well. I see the 16th or the January 8th for some of you. Um, but definitely there's messages coming in on both parties here. Now, let's look at the Eight of Wands and what's crossing you. you got the Page of Cups. So there is a new emotional experience, okay, that's taking place. Emperor reversed and the nine of cups this is a wish fulfillment for some of you um it the commitment is not actually there this okay what it means is that uh, it's like a, a renewal some or it's a new start a new beginning a fresh beginning that's taking place okay in um this um with the page of cups and the air wants it's a new beginning even though the commitment is not there at this time okay uh it, it, there's this is a wish fulfillment on both parties Let's look at the page of pentacles and what spirit wants you to focus on here okay you got the six of cups reversed the five of swords and the chariot reversed so in the past here you no know, okay in the past we're showing this is like this is what they're showing me is that there was a maybe um there was emotions like someone here was dealing with maybe uh, someone here did not have your back capricorn there could have been backstab stab backstabbing lies maybe maybe it's also in the way that you were thinking about the situation whatever the case here is about releasing the nostalgic memories of the past of people that hurt you and at one point with the chariot reversed here some of you were not able to move forward in the situation okay not being able to move forward but with the page of pentacles here this talks about there is an offer 100 now this could be an offer of money a loan a job or this could be 
an apology coming in, okay? But I do see that something is taking place. There's a new emotional experience that's taking place and some type of stability coming in at the beginning stages. Now, in the current energy, you got the Hermit reversed. So let's look at the Hermit reversed. You got the Ten of Cups reversed. The Ten of Pentacles. Okay, let's see. The Seven of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Pentacles. There's definitely something coming into balance in your life. Definitely, that whatever you give, you're going to be receiving. So definitely something is coming into balance. Even money, in a sense, I feel that there's some type of... Uh, maybe so you are going to get paid more uh, you're going to get like a bonus at, at work for others of you this talks about definitely that uh, there is uh, something that's coming into balance here in your life now in this in the sense of this relationship or feeling happy someone here is definitely in the current energy coming out of a time where they had no communication with anybody here okay uh, really taking time out and coming out of the dark night of the soul maybe their emotions are still not 100 percent here okay uh, still like uh, not finding the happiness and that serenity that they need but what they're showing me here is that you're going to overcome the situation okay you already battled this you're already on top of the mountain okay and battled this situation even though you still feel that there's a lot of obstacles in front of you and what they're showing me here is with the ten of pentacles this talks about the fruit of life there's some type of, um, this could be um, unexpected money coming in for you. Others of you, this could be two people coming in together to, and to, two people coming in together with their knowledge and having that Ten of Pentacles. You can also talk about a start of a new project or a new promise of some type of stability here. But I do see two people coming in together to, to bring this Ten of Pentacles, okay? And with the Nine of Pentacles, there's someone is taking their time. They're moving slowly, okay? Maybe this is you towards your goal, okay? Planning ahead. You're planning ahead this time, okay? But you're not, someone here is still not ready in the emotional. It's mostly like practical, what I see. Now, let's look at the Ace of Swords here. That's in the middle of your reading. Completion, yes. This is, this is about coming full circle. It's about coming full circle, learning all the lessons and there's uh, endings and new beginnings that are taking place in the current energy for you. So you got the Ace of Swords, you got the World. Let's see what else you have here. The, f the Queen of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so like I said, you still hear someone here is still releasing the past, right? Okay, even though someone's coming out of the dark night of the soul, doesn't mean that just because you come out of the dark night of the soul that you're ready to make decisions right away, right? It takes time. So someone here is still holding back. They're holding back something. Maybe they're feeling that they're not that they're not that they're not worthy enough or not able to do something. Okay, um, is what I feel for some of you out there. Or someone here is still holding on to to uh, something very tightly. Spirit says you need to release it if you want more of it to come towards you. And yes, okay, so there is completion here. You're going to get a lot of clarity and communication, being focused. A lot of, even your intuition is going to start picking up here. But uh, some of you are like the Queen of Swords energy. You're going to be thinking logically about the next steps ahead. Um, okay, thinking very logically. Now, let's look at the Ace of Pentacles in the current energy. Oops, this card wanted to come out. You got the Seven of Swords. The judgment reversed. Let's see what's going on here. Nine of Wands reversed. Okay, well, a lot of you are keeping quiet. Okay, you're keeping quiet right now. You're not saying anything. You're not really talking to much people at this time. I feel like you're taking a step back. And you're really doing your own thing at this time with the Seven of Swords. There is some type of money or some type of offer that's coming in, a gift. It could also be a gift that's coming in. There was some type of judgment that took place in the, in the past where your guards went down. Now, whether you had to judge something or someone judged you, I feel that your guards went down on that, okay, in that situation. And what they're showing me is, well, you came into your own reading unless you're dealing with another Capricorn. Okay, there's a breakthrough here. Definitely Saturn is giving you a breakthrough, 100%. It's like the phoenix rising from the ashes. This is where you are, you're at, okay? The, and it's about breakthroughs that are taking place and really like taking it to the next level of 
manifesting your dreams and your, your desires. It's really nice to see that. Now, <clears throat> let's look at um, the hangman reversed. You got the lovers reversed, the two of cups, and the king of pentacles. That's nice to see here. Definitely here, there was a divine connection. Okay, it could be a lover, a friend, a twin soulmate, whatever there was here. Someone had to, I feel that one of you had to go through, I think the other party already went through their spiritual awakening. I feel that uh, this is you maybe, that there was some type of separation, out of body experience. I don't know why they're saying that in the situation here. And uh, getting the clarity that you needed. And there's the spiritual awakening that, awakening that took place around the month of, I would say, um what are they saying here may june may june yeah may and june of 2021 here someone went through a spiritual awakening here um there was a choice that had to be made and but i what i see is that there is two people coming in together this could be a start of a relationship or some type of two people a beautiful connection here it's still there and with the king of pentacles this talks about how you are right now, you could be stable, you could be reliable, okay? Um, and uh, this is about being successful as well. Now let's look at the magician and the hopes and fears. You got the hangman reversed, both parties. Ace of Cups reversed. The Five of Wands with the Empress. You got the Emperor and the Empress here. Okay, um, yeah, definitely here someone went through a spiritual awakening where you're seeing the clarity on everything. Because at one point something was very stagnant and it was stagnant for a very long time here. And they're saying like two years. Okay, and uh, so uh, the, maybe at one point it was a lot of fighting and drama in a situation. And with the Ace of Cups, someone is really going within to find out what unconditional love is. Because most this, this other person, whoever this person is that's coming out of the dark night of the soul, okay? Um, it's like there's a darkness that they, they need to, uh, or some type of darkness that they need to embrace here in the situation. And what they're showing up is that with the Empress energies, there's going to be new opportunities that are going to be presenting themselves for, for you. And this is about having that Midas touch. Now let's look at what's hidden from you. We got the Queen of Cups and the Sun reversed. Okay, let's see what this is all about here. Okay, let's see here. There's a lot of messages here, so just give me a second, okay? Patience is needed in a situation. Okay, there was maybe a lot of disagreements and uh, not being happy, uh, not finding the abundant, uh, happy, no, I'm, someone here being unhappy. Uh, there was a, a situation, and I think in the south node of Sagittarius, when the 18 months when uh, the south node was in Sagittarius, Capricorn, you guys got hit very hard in a situation here where uh, you felt defeated. Some of you were humbled down, um, you know, whatever, if it wasn't like some type of, um, how you say that? offer that was not coming in there was a lot of unhappiness with the sun reversed okay um you know uh, someone here uh wasn't uh, seeing things the right way um there was a delay with jupiter as well and you know someone here that had to work on their patience something was not moderated here someone really had to work on themselves but what they're showing up here and how they're showing up here is definitely here there is someone here that's independent they're working on themselves eight nine ten is here for you in the numerology someone offering uh there's going to be like clear communication that's going to be taking place uh unexpected messages there's going to be action and uh this is about having self-confidence in yourself it's about taming something within you it's about uh, many beautiful things that are taking place here for you in what you're not seeing right now. So definitely, if it did not happen in the month of December, this communication, it's happening in the month of January. And uh, whether it's not you that's coming in to give you the message, someone is definitely coming in to give you a message. So now let's look at the Ace of Wands. I didn't call the cards, so let's see. You got Justice, beautiful. We got the five of pentacles reversed beautiful that's nice to see that when it's reversed 
oops, all these cards went to come out. Let's see what's happening here. You got the Ace of Wands, the Moon, the Ten of Wands reversed, the Three of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Four reversed. Okay, we're seeing things differently here in this situation. Someone here is still heartbroken, okay? Still needs time to heal. Someone here did not give them, themselves enough time to heal in a situation. Uh, it's shown in the past there was a lot of obstacles and you were very tired and there was a lot of obstacles here for you, uh, Capricorn, okay? But like I'm being shown here with the Five of Pentacles reverse, a lot of you, uh, you came full complete circle on feeling abandoned, lost, uh, you know, out of reach, there's some type of game that's coming back to you. And this is what they're showing me, even though you're still working on healing that heart. You're looking at things differently with the Four of Cups. Usually the Four of Cups that talks about rejection. But in this card, it's different. And what I'm feeling from this, from the Divine, is that um, you're, you're looking at that cup right now. And you're meditating with that cup. And you're giving it a second chance. There's someone here that's giving a second chance here. And something is definitely coming into balance here. And justice will prevail for you. Okay. And of course, you got the Ace of Wands again. So you got 1111 here. Okay. It's about passion within you and all around you. And um, with the Moon card, it talks about something that is coming towards you. Some type of breakthrough. For others of you, it's also some of you at this time are not seeing something that's right in front of you. Because the, the energy of Neptune sometimes will give will give you that effect of you not seeing something so don't be rash in making huge decisions when you're an influence under neptune especially when it is on your chart you will know but this talks about maybe a lot of you right now are in unknown chart like you're not you're not sure where you're going ahead and that's why you're not taking that leap of faith forward and underneath the deck you have the hierophant reversed <clears throat> this could be about marriage. If it's not marriage, it's about letting go of everything that you have known, Capricorn. The dogmas, the rules, what you were taught as a child, what you were taught even when you left the, the uh, let's say the 3D and you went into the 5D of the spiritual matrix. Uh, you're letting down everything, okay, of what you knew. You like, Things are crumbling. It also talks about l lessons that you needed to learn in a situation here, okay? And uh, that's your reading. So I hope that you did enjoy your reading. There's beautiful things here that are taking place. And now I will take out a card for you from the inner child. This is from Isha Lerner and Mark Lerner. And it's about healing that inner child energy. Okay, so we're going to take a look at this together. These are the cards. So this is what I could give right now in the readings. I can't give any more at this time. Um, I'm sure that in time I will be back again, full speed ahead. But right now, I'm pacing myself because if I do too much, I'm going to burn out again. So, how I take out these cards is that I lay them down and the divine will pick the card for you. And ready card is chosen. There we go. So, oh, you got two cards, Capricorn. Well, it's good because it's your birthday time. <laughs> so you get two cards. So the first one is Little Red Cap. So we're going to take a look at it together. I'll show you the card. Number 41. And now all you need to do is sit back and listen to the to the to what I am going to tell you, and take what resonates with you. Okay, so this is your card. Hold on a second. <laughs> my hair is in my face. Okay, here you go. So this is your card. Okay, so I'm going to read this to you. The classic fairy tale of Little Red Cap, often known as Little Red Riding Hood, is a story of childhood innocence, curiosity, excitement at the onset of a journey, temptation, and the primary stages of becoming an individual. Sent to her grandmother's cottage by her mother, Little Red Cap is given a basket of goodies and told to follow the path and avoid the dangers of the woods. As a naive and fearless child, she is curious about the world, open and has no concept of the dark forces that may be ready to steer her off course and away from her destination. 
While traveling the road to grandmother's house, Little Red Cap meets the big bad wolf and describes her journey to him, ignoring her mother's advice. The wolf encourages her to visit the woods and she follows his advice and goes off gathering flowers for her grandmother. In the meantime, the wolf goes to the grandmother's cottage, devours the old woman and lies in wait for the little red cap. Near the end of the tale, little red cap enters the house and is also eaten by the wolf, pretending to be the grandmother. As the wolf rests after his meal, a woodsman enters the cottage, cuts open the wolf and frees little red cap and her grandmother. In effect, they are reborn, and the wolf's stomach is filled with stones, causing him to eventually die. In other versions of the story, Little Red Cap meets the wolf a number of times and learns to outsmart him. Little Red Cap received her name because the grandmother made her a red velvet cake when she was very young. She loved it so much that she worked constantly, and everyone called her Little Red Cap. As red as... As red is a color representing will and fire, the red cap symbolizes the initial stage of spiritual adventure and mental power in the card. In traditional tarot decks, this is the full card, often known, shown by a jester who wears a special cape or hat signifying the presence of divine consciousness. The wolf, the wolf lurking in the woods stands for the dark, unintegrated aspect of consciousness and the temptation to stray from one's higher path in life. It signifies the, uh, the anti-social tendencies within ourselves and reappears in various guises, wicked witch, evil queen, fearful giant, throughout the major arcanas. In the daughter, mother, and grandmother, we see expressed the ancient triple goddess, maiden, mother, and crone. In a general way, this card sums up the entire major, major trumps because Little Red Cap represents the child within who is traveling the illumined road of higher consciousness. She is sent by Earth Mother, destined to be reunited with the Grandmother of Universal Wisdom. On the way, she is tempted okay, by the vagaries of life and learns from her mistakes and failures. The woodsman who allows Little Red Cap and the Grandmother to be reborn symbolize symbolizes humanity liberating the individual soul and allowing it to join the spiritual hierarchy of the planet. When this card appears in your reading, be ready for adventure, open to the vast horizon of the unknown and be willing to take the risks. Step beyond the limits set by cultural standards. Temporarily, you may feel lost in the dark as if emptiness has beckoned you into the void. Enter and be reborn. See life more as a game of chance, an opportunity to play. The experience of the fool often occurs during the times of great inner change. It is as courageous as it is, as it is humbling to wear the fool's mask and walk into the road or walk into the unknown. Eventually, through the process of rebirth, your genius and intuition can emerge. Remember to wear bright clothes. Okay, so this is one of your cards, which is beautiful. And the next one you got is the four of hearts. So let's look at it together, the Four of Hearts. Okay. Here you go, Four of Hearts. This is the card. Sunken, tr sunken treasures, lost hopes, broken hearts, and tearful goodbyes are all aspects of the emotional journey one must encounter in life. Through these times are no, these times are painful. The ever transforming tides of hope exist within them. A broken heart is an open heart. When we're willing to allow deep emotions to flow, there's an invariable a gift of love at the other side. Sorrow brings the tidings of joy. This is the bittersweet aspect of love. The gentle mermaid in this card has lost her hope. The boat she was guiding during a stor storm has sunk, and her wing heart locket is broken. In time, she will look up and see her three friends riding on dolphins coming to her rescue. What seems lost will be regained as she re reconstructs and discovers a new foundation of faith and hope in herself and in life. Often, we cannot see the forest for the trees. Treasures that lie before us cannot be found until we are able to discover them. This card may be describing an emotional situation for you. Allow yourself the time to feel these emotions. Honor your process of introspection. With faith and hope, a new revelation will gently come forward and heal your broken heart. 
becoming one with your feelings is a crucial step on the path of life. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Capricorns. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Know that I have your back and I love you all. And remember, we are love, we are light, and we are one. Please take care and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.